Hello, my name is Sherry Tangbergen, and I'm the author of the DVD, The Watercolor Gourmet Cooks for You. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to make a paint by number. What I did is I found this cute little cat on the internet, but I didn't like all these flowers and things like that around it. So I went ahead, first of all, took the colored picture, printed that out, turned it into black and white so I could see what the dark and the light shapes were. And then I went ahead and I traced around the parts of the cat that I really wanted in my finished painting. Notice how I got rid of all the flowers. They were just too much. And so here is my finished idea. Well, now I've got to make it ready so that one of my students or someone else could also try to paint this picture. So I took that and I made a bigger colored copy of it and I started looking at the different colors in this cat. Notice the ears have peach in them. The background is blue. There are white spots on the cat. There's a green background. There's a light brown parts on the cat. And there are some golden spots, parts on the cat with a black outline. So I went ahead and numbered all those, mixed the colors, and put them on my palette. Now, I've got to get this cat onto my watercolor paper. There's a couple ways to do this. One of the fastest and easiest ways is just take a pencil and scribble it over the back of your picture, lay that down, and by tracing nice and hard with your pencil, those lines will actually come through so that you can see them on your watercolor paper. And then you would fill it in with the colors as suggested. But they make watercolor paper that's thin enough now that you can take a black and white picture, scan it on your computer, and you got the cat right on your paper, right where you want it. So let's start filling him in, shall we? Let's start with the ears. I'm going to pick up the peach color that I made over here using cadmium orange and a little bit of cadmium red, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint in the ears of my cat very quickly and easily right onto my watercolor paper. I also need to paint peach in the other ear. So you're going to go methodically through your picture filling in the different sections very carefully with a small or a medium sized round tip brush and start putting in the colors until you end up with your finished cat. This is Sherry Tangbergen and thank you for watching.